Alright guys, welcome back, and in this video, we're going to be done with coding these stupid little rookie functions. It's time to step our game up a notch because I'm going to be teaching you guys how to pass arguments into functions. So what the heck does that mean? Well, sometimes your function is going to need an extra piece of information in order to work. And by that I mean if it's calculating the weight of something, or in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to take any amount of euros in convert it to US dollars so of course the piece of information that you're gonna need to give your function is how many euros do you want to convert so again it's not just gonna print something out on the screen and do the same thing over and over again it's gonna take a number in this case and convert it so it's gonna be pretty sweet so it's better if I just shut up and uh, actually do this so first of all what it's gonna do is it's gonna crunch the numbers whatever value you give it and just print it out on the screen we're not getting um, any we're not returning anything back to the function so just write void and in the next video I'll show you guys what happens when you actually do return something back but for right now let's just uh, stick with the basics so like I said what we're gonna do is we're gonna give a euro amount and it's gonna convert it to dollars so convert to dollars is probably an appropriate name for this function and what piece of information does it need from the user well it needs a euro amount and I'm just gonna put that as a float since it could be like one and a half euros or whatever you call them I know it's a float give me a break guys so basically in here you're making a variable what type of information are you gonna be passing in well it's gonna be a float and what do you want to call the variable well just euro we know how to make variables so after this of course your curly brackets we have to first let me add that return statement so I don't forget now what I want to do is since we already have a variable for euro I also want to add another one for float USD this is pretty much going to be our answer and the formula to convert euros to dollars is just take whatever amount euro and multiply it by 1.37 so pretty freaking easy and now let's just go ahead and print something out on the screen so print f and this function will just say um, we can format it like percent f to two decimal places euros and then we'll put a little dash in we'll say that what it was in US D or US dollars and we'll kick it to a new line so of course the first one is euro and the second one is US dollars so very simple stuff what we pretty much did is we created a function that takes any amount of euros converts it to dollars and prints out the result on the screen so now we just need to do the boring housekeeping stuff say when do you want to use this function well right around here is good for right now and then of course we need to prototype it so whenever our program comes across it it doesn't get confused so now of course we're using this function right here and we actually don't want that in there because that's just a variable what we want to do is we want to give it some euro amount so make a new variable right up here I'll put I'll just name it like euro price one and we'll just uh, test it out really easy to make sure it works so basically say that we have a one euro and we're traveling overseas or at least I am I live in America and we need to know um, what the US dollar amount equivalent of this is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this value which is equal to one and I'm gonna pass it as an argument into this function so this pretty much says run this function right here and for your placeholder use this one so wherever this euro is it pretty much treats this variable euro as one so it's gonna say okay one times 1.37 let's run this bad boy and check it out one euros equals 1.37 US dollars pretty sweet now another cool thing is this remember that I said that you can use this function as many times as you want without having to recode everything well this is actually one of those useful examples say that we have I don't know 
five and a half euros. We'll name this variable euro price two. Well, we can just do something like this. Do this one for one and do this one for five and a half. And how awesome is that? No need to code this over and over and over again. You can do this as many times as you want. Piece of cake. And actually, to tell you the truth, you don't even need a variable name at all. Since this euro price two and euro price one is equal to a float, you can actually just pass in a float right here. So what if you had, I don't know, 21.3 euros? Well, what this is going to do is just going to say whatever values in here, treat it as euro, euro. Pretty freaking awesome. So again, that is how you pass an argument into a function. Again, an argument is just an extra piece of information that your function is going to need. So, well, plain and simple, that's how it's done. Um, hopefully you guys understand. If you don't, then ask me in my forum and I'll be happy to answer it for you. Also, if you want the source code for it, then look in my forum, all the source codes there. You probably already knew that. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.